the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video setting of multiplier multiplicand and result in abacus multiplication setting the multiplier and multiplicand is very important in the abacus to get the correct result let us take the example 46 multiplied by 235 here 46 is the multiplier and 235 is the multiplicand the multiplier is always set in the extreme left of the abacus that means 4 should be set in the extreme left column of the abacus and the 6 of 46 should be set in the column next to the extreme left the multiplicand should always be set in the right side of the abacus but not at the right end we have to repeat this the multiplicand should always be set in the right side of the abacus but not at the right end we have to do some calculation on where we have to set the multiplicand for this uh, the first step uh, is to count the number of digits of the multiplier and the multiplicand in the current problem the number of digits in the multiplier is 2 the number of digits in the multiplicand is 3 and therefore adding them you get 5 we have to add one column for the abacus multiplication operations it is for every multiplication we have to add one additional column to the abacus multiplication process so with this uh, total you get a total of six columns now we have to count from the right side of the abacus six columns one two three four five six and set the highest digit of the multiplicand there so here the highest digit of the multiplicand is two so the two should be set in the sixth column the number 3 of 235 should be set to the right side of the number 2 and 5 to the right side of number 3. You can notice here that there are 3 columns to the right side of the abacus. 3 columns to the right side of the abacus which are left and this will be the space where we start uh, noting the multiplied values and let us see how it is done one may have uh, doubts whether the column that we leave for abacus multiple operations is depending on the number of digits of the multiplier and the multiplicand it is to be noted that irrespective of the number of digits of the multiplier and multiplicand we have to simply add one column for setting the multiplicand for example in the problem 6 multiplied by 9 the total digits of the multiplier and the multiplicand becomes 2 and uh, we have to add one more column for abacus multiplication that means 3 so what we have to do we have to set the number 6 in the extreme left of the abacus and then count the total digits that is 2 digits of the 2 numbers that is multiplier and multiplicand and 1 for the abacus the 9 should be set in the third column from the right of abacus that is 1 2 and 3 that should be set in the hundreds column in the first problem the total number of digits of the multiplier and multiplicand was 5 and for this 2 we 
had just one column for the abacus multiplication. In the second problem, the total digits is 2 and for this 2, you have to add simply one column for the abacus multiplication. So therefore, the additional column for abacus operation is just one irrespective of how many digits uh, you have uh, in the multiplier and the multiplicand.